Ken Carter's Youth Foundation, keeping youths unstained, making them sit down and read. The man behind the vision, Dr. Ken Carter's, the visionary of Ken Carter's Youth Foundation and CEO of Sit Down and Read Ventures, Nigeria, Dr. Udemezue Kenneth Akata, generally called Dr. Ken Carter's, is a graduate of medicine from the University of Benin, Edo State, Nigeria. He was at the University of Benin between 1992 and 2001. Dr. Ken had his primary education at UMC Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria, between 1978 and 1982. At this point in his life, Dr. Ken Katis paid attention to nothing else except dancing and riding bikes along the streets of Ibadan. At the tender age of eight, young Ken would leave home early in the morning, not for school, but for Mulete to ride bikes. Every Friday and Sunday afternoon was his time to go disco dancing at different halls and people's homes. Young Ken didn't find going to school pleasurable. As a result of his lifestyle, Ken's parents of blessed memory, Engineer and Mrs. Doris Akata, relocated Ken from Ibadan to Onicha, Anambra State, his home state. Between 1982 and 1986, while at the hustling and bustling town of Venetia, Ken joined a retinue of bad friends. In 1984, he was admitted into junior secondary school at Nandi Azikiwe Secondary School, Abagana, Anambra State. Once in the school, he founded a group of bad boys called 911 with a leader named Obele. Ken was so academically backward that until senior secondary 2 in 1988 when Ken had an encounter that changed him. He met a student who taught him the right ways to live, including staying away from immoralities. Of all the things that the students taught him, the one that stuck with Ken was the discipline to sit down and read. The journey to learn how to be serious with studies and to write examinations without cheating continued after secondary school for between four and five years in which period he sat for the senior school certificate examination over and over before passing it. He had the same experience with the Joint Admissions Matriculations Board examinations which he attempted five times before securing admission into studying in medicine, the course of his choice. For the eight to ten years that Ken was at the University of Benin, he was the most popular student on campus. Like wildfire, it cut across every department and faculty of the school. After graduation from Uniben in 2001, Dr. Ken Katis started touring different schools in Nigeria, the privately owned as well as the public ones. Federal Government Unity Schools, Campuses, Colleges of Education and Polytechnics. He took his message of change to churches, mosques and everywhere young people were found. He also reached out to parents of these youths. The message was constant, change. Dr. Ken Katis's change message to young people had a dual focus. Stop every negative act, behavior or lifestyle which can jeopardize your life and future and then sit down and read discipline. For the past 13 years, Dr. Ken Katas has toured several schools in Nigeria, reaching out to youths, redirecting their focus and equipping them mentally to be future leaders, helping them to develop the habit and discipline to sit down, to read and to sit for their examinations without malpractices. His ever consistent tours have taken him to schools and youths in the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria, from the north to the south, the west to the east. He has traversed them all without spare. With his unique project, which he terms Akademospiroko Cardiac Lectures and Revival Teachings, Dr. Ken and his team have visited several federal unity schools across Nigeria. Some have been visited once, others twice, while others have been visited on at least five different occasions. The trainings and teachings have been so effective that some schools have now incorporated them into their term programs. In the south-south zone of Nigeria, covering the Niger Delta states, 
Ken Carter's Youth Foundation has trained and motivated students to take their studies seriously through the Sit Down and Read project in the following schools FGGC Benin, FSTC Urumi, FGC Ibilo, FGC Wari, FGGC Abuloma, FGC Oji, FSTC Tungwe, FGGC Imiringi, FGGC Calabar, FSC Ugoja, FSTC Ahoda, and in the southeastern zone, students in the following schools have been trained FGC Enugu, FGGC Izambo, FGGC Leja, FGC Okigwe, FGC Ohafia, FGGC Umahia, FGGC Onesha, Southwest Zones, King's College, Queen's College, FSTC Yaba, FGC Ijaniki, FSTC Elisha, FGGC Ako, FSTC Ijebu Mushi, FGC Ikole Ikiti, and FGC Odobolu. In the North Central Zone of Nigeria, FGC Kaduna, FSTC Kapanchan, FSTC Doma, FGGC Kainia, FGA Suleja, FGC Joss, FGGC Langtang, FGC Otobi, FGGC Kaba, and FGBC Abuja. In the Northwest Muslim Dominated Zone, the following schools have experienced the KKYF Sit Down and Read Project, FSC Sokoto, FGGC Tambowal, FSTC Zuru, FGGC Gozao, FGC Kano, FGC Daura, FGC Bakuri, and FGGC Binjibe. In the Northeast Zone, students in FGC Yola and FGGC Botiskum have been trained by Dr. Ken and his group. In all the secondary schools listed above, countless number of students have been motivated, challenged and transformed through the KKYF trainings and projects. In fact, the immediate and measurable impact of these trainings on students in each school is simply mind-blowing. These trainings have discouraged students from the common vices which students are involved in and which hinder their academic performances and lead them into moral laxity. At the end of each training session, it is common to see students break down emotionally with tears flowing freely as they open up on their heating habits which even their parents and teachers are unaware of. Such habits would always include stealing, lying, laziness, immorality of all sorts, exam malpractices, unseriousness with their studies, talkativeness, bringing prohibited items into school premises, breaking bounds, destroying school property, bullying, fighting and insulting teachers. Most importantly, these trainings reveal that students smuggle phones into classes and hostels despite the great search conducted by school authorities at the point of entry. And these same students would always confess that phones are the greatest distractions and hindrance to academic excellence among them. These pleasure-seeking gadgets are nothing but time-wasting tools which steal the time of academic work at the end of each training by Dr. Ken Catters. Students will on their own surrender these phones, stolen items and prohibited items which they smuggled into school to the authorities in strong repentance and pertinence of heart. Such items were only given back to the students at the end of their examinations with a written undertaking not to bring them back to school and then students will be found studying more than ever. Afternoon and night preps will usually come alive again. No supervisor or teacher will be required to be around at this time for students to sit down and read. Students will be found in some cases going to their teachers whom they had insulted in the past to reconcile. The whole school environment will be conducive for academic activities and the students will be motivated to sit down and read. And then the performance of the students in their internal and external examinations will drastically improve. Practical training is given on how to use KKYF MRS booklets. The booklet practically makes students to unlearn bad habits on then vices that are detrimental to academic excellence and sit down and read. 
students are given the opportunity to practice and imbibe the principles taught in the booklet for three weeks in a sit-down to read competition. Prizes are given to the best performers, especially the first, second and third positions. Many students have gone through the KKYF sit-down to read competition. In 2015 alone, the following schools have participated in the SIDA competition. FGC Okigwe, FGGC Ezambo, FGC Benin, FGC Kaduna, FSTC Uromi, FGGC Enugu, to mention only a few. Do you have students that are restless, that can't sit down to read, that are addicted to TV, video games and phones? As a parent, are you tired of shouting? yelling and barking at your children? Do you desire to raise disciplined and focused young people who will sit down and read without coercion? Then call Dr. Ken Catters on 0803-726-8435. This one call can bring the desired change to your school, campus, church or mosque. KKYF, keeping youths on stage.